Hello. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you've probably seen the name J.W. Rinsler appear on your Twitter, Reddit or YouTube feeds lately. Mr. Rinsler had one or two things to say about working for Disney, and while I don't feel that he said anything controversial, we live in a world where, somehow, Star Wars has become a controversial project. And the question here is, are these books worth buying? And the short answer is yes, the long answer being, if you're a fan of these movies, then you absolutely should own these books, because Rinsler absolutely gets that fan mentality. If you are a fan of something, you want a product that does justice to it, and these books undeniably do. You can see that I have all three of them here, but I'm only going to show you the first one, because obviously I don't want to show you so much that you don't need to go and buy the book. But you can see straight away from these covers just how beautiful the books are. But first I want to show you this. This pamphlet was given away with Empire Magazine, I think to promote Rinsler's book. And I'm showing it because prior to Rinsler's work, if you had a making of book, it was that sort of size, that level of detail, and designed to promote the movie. Whereas these books are written to satiate a diehard fan's desire to immerse themselves in the making of that movie. Rinsler's book is exhaustively researched and the difference between it and what has come before is the difference between a pamphlet and an encyclopedia. There's so much information here, but you can also just flip through and enjoy the aesthetics of the book. Here we have George Lucas's handwritten early draft, and here you have something that I don't think has ever been done in print before, a summary of the changes from the previous draft of the script as they move towards the final shooting draft. There's a collection of these in the appendices as well. I wanted to show this page briefly because the channel covers classic sci-fi quite a bit, so it was nice to see these old magazines here as well. Here we have Lucas's hand-drawn sketches of a TIE fighter and an X-Wing, and after three chapters, we have just reached a stage where Lucas has reached out to Ralph McQuarrie for some concept art. And here is some of that concept art, not just beautiful paintings, but the layouts here as well. Incredible. 60 pages in, the script is still being worked on, and these are photographs taken from location scouting in Tunisia. I think this is a really nice page. Carrie Fisher isn't here, but you have Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford reading for their parts. There's Hamill himself, handsome man, great photograph. Here's another really beautiful layout, all these shots from shooting in Tunisia. The man, the legend, Alec Guinness, my dad met him, I never had the pleasure. Here's Carrie. There's some early wardrobe tests here, Han no doubt practicing shooting first, but here you also have what shots were filmed on which day. That continued through the whole shoot, so it's all through the book. This is really great, it's lovely to see those three together. Some of the incredible map paintings, so much information, so beautifully laid out. You can see here that we aren't finished with the book yet, but now Rinsler is showing the movie's release, its success, and how it became a cultural phenomenon. So I won't show you anymore, but I really believe that these books are the finest Star Wars product on the market. And if you're a fan of the movies, then you absolutely won't regret buying them. These books are incredible, and Rinsler should be showered with thanks and praise for his work here. What is really, really disappointing is that whatever they do for the prequels or any future films, it would take Disney approaching him with a sizable humble pie for us to get a stunning book like this about them. Rinsler has also written books in this style about the Alien movies and Indiana Jones, so if you're a big fan of those, they're probably worth your money as well. He also has a book about the space race called All Up, which I intend to check out in the future. On this channel, typically you'll find reviews of classic sci-fi and fantasy, as well as more modern novels. So if that sounds like something you would find interesting, by all means subscribe while you're here. Thanks for watching.